You see it. You see the rainbow? You don't see the rainbow. There it is. See it? Yeah, you, I don't see it. Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Grow Your Understanding. Today, we're going to deal with this mess. These are our tomato plants that we planted in uh, January, February. They are doing very well. Uh, generally, right now, we just be planting saplings, so these have fared well. So we got a couple of things we got to do here. We got to build a trellis for them to su to support. We got to build a trellis to support them, and uh, I want to prune a little bit as well. Now I'm not. 100% sure how to prune tomatoes, so I'm going to be learning this as we go along as well. So bear with me, but we want to start by getting rid of some of the suckers. I'll identify those, and then uh, we will go from there. So we'll prune first, and then build a trellis later on, and uh, that'll kind of make up this episode. So this will be all about the tomatoes. The first thing we want to do is try and identify what a sucker is. Just to be clear, kind of what we're looking for is something a little along the lines of this guy right here. So you see behind the flower there, you got this guy growing right out of the crotch here. This is identified as a sucker here. The flowers aren't a part of it. Actually, just to be clear, we're a little early for flowering yet, buddy, so we'll take you off. But this guy here, the guy that's in the middle, that's the guy that's the sucker. They will eventually grow uh, they will eventually grow and start to produce fruit, but it really burns the whole plant down. So we're going to try and get rid of, as, rid of as many of those guys as we can. So basically, we're just going to take our shear, make sure we're not cutting uh, too much. And we're just going to cut that guy off. And uh, there you go. That's the sucker. This guy's a small one. Focus. There you go. Throw it in the compost. And we're going to go around and do this with all the plants. Get rid of the suckers. And then I might trim back when you get to the bottom here. we got a bunch. Oh, we got another seedling growing right here. Oh, we got a bunch of these lower, lower branches. We're going to probably just go ahead and snip a bunch of those back. And just lighten the load at the bottom here. Make it easier for us to get in there and weed these guys out first things first we got to prune this back so we can actually build a trellis in here so the idea right now is we're going to build you can kind of see that we did two wide there there we're going to try and build a trellis through the middle of this so that both sides can access it this one's going to be a little different because we got one row of plants one row of plants so the idea is uh, I want to eventually put the trellis through the middle and then next year we'll have plants on each side. But for this year, we'll do, we'll do a full length trellis through the middle here and then two shorter trellises here and here. So first thing is we got to prune all this back and make space. And we're going to over prune for now. So that's a, that's a dill plant, a little dill plant. So for now, we're going to over prune all of this so that we have the space to set up the trellises. And then we'll just let the tomatoes come back. So we're also going to do a bit of a pruning lesson, I guess. And I'm kind of learning a bit myself. All right, so we're going to start with a little bit of a lesson in how to determine what's what here. So on the tomato, you got your main stem. If we're looking at this guy here, hey this will be the main stem. You got to go lower. I can't, I can't see you. Hey you come this way. <laughs> yeah, back up a bit. You're too close. So we're gonna look at this guy here. You got this stem here, which is a sun leaf. So it does oop, Abby just kicked the stand. It doesn't have any flowers on it or nothing. It's not gonna grow fruit. It's essentially just there to gather energy. You got your main stem here, and then on top here, you have your flower buds forming. That's where the fruit will come out. And then you got this middle guy coming up here, right in the crotch. That's your sucker, and a sucker uh, on a tomato plant can can develop into uh, a fruiting branch as well. Uh, but for this, in this case, because we're trying to prune everything back to make room for a trellis, and we're very early in the season, I'm okay cutting a lot of that off. So uh, we're going to start going ahead and doing that. I just, and we'll do that kind of throughout. So let's get going. 
Oh. Ah. Oh, that's overkill. Let's grab this guy. Oh. Yeah, those are plums. So there you go, that's one sucker off. Essentially just have to make a row through here. So I'm gonna be cutting off some pretty big stems and stuff to do so. And then, like I said, we're early in the season, so we'll let it grow back after that. Come here. <laughs> All right, so here we got, these are not suckers that I'm cutting. These are sun leaves, but we have to make room for the trellis. So I'm cutting some back. I'm also cutting anything yellowing at the bottom because you look at these leaves are yellowing, they're fading. That's sign of disease and they're just not healthy. So we're getting rid of those. Just cleaning it all up. I've kind of let this go a little bit too long I'm without put doing so. You're going to put them in the wood pile? No, in the old pile. We just made. Oh, in the old pile. Okay. And then we're also doing some weeding while we're in here. We got whatever that is. Dried out leaves. So the pile is pretty big. I can grab them out of there. Smokey. My shears are getting a little dull. I'm going to have to buy some new ones soon or sharpen these. I don't know how to sharpen them. but So with this guy, you can kind of see how far we've pruned it back here. It's definitely a lot thinner if you come around kind of look at the rest of this so we definitely got our work cut out for us here um probably a better idea to prune them earlier but we'll keep going okay so we're starting to see starting to clear up here you can see my hand a little bit further back uh it's getting there uh, grab this guy and hey yo and hey yo there's abigail <laughs> we're also uh we're also trimming back any sort of branches that are diving down into the ground oh, there's smoky again can you put her down she's look, looking fat and uncomfortable that is a very pregnant cat um we're trimming anything that's diving into the ground so that it prevents disease with the leaves touching the ground so really taking a lot back right now um i think i'm going to proceed with pruning this out and then i'll bring you back when we're close to done and getting ready to build the trellis we are thinned out and from the top it doesn't look like much but Taking this off. And look how many, how much we got rid of all that, and all that, and all that, and all that. That is a lot. All right, so we got some reinforcing steel here. Let's go ahead and chop this up. Uh, we're going to be making it into four foot sections so that I can hammer it in two feet and have the trellis sticking above the planter bed two feet. If you guys have never worked with this stuff before, it's really easy. So you take your measurement, you got four feet, and then if you want to cut this up, you just simply do one of these. And just like that, you got a cut piece of rod. I'm going to go ahead and chop the rest of this up and I'll get back to when all the materials are ready. So this stuff here is just a plastic mesh that I bought that's meant for trellis. Just picked it up for like 25 bucks at the local hardware store. That's what we're going to be using. Right now the trick is going to be trying to feed the fence through this. So we're going to start with putting in our spikes. Then we're going to try and figure out how to get it through here. So let's get going on that. First run of mesh. Now comes the struggle. Hi. Hey, you're just in time to help. Say hi to the camera. Hey all. Okay, do you want to help me pull these tomatoes aside so we can thread this through here? Uh, why? Because this is going to be what they stand or what they grow on. Because tomatoes need a support. So we need to find. There we go, that's an opening. Yeah, tomato! All right, that wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. So now I need my zip ties. All right, we're back with the what? Zip ties. Zip ties. Ties, not tibes. 
vibes. Okay, hold on. No, no, don't just zip them on. You're in, for, you're in front of the camera, buddy. So we're going to zip them up high. So they don't need them at the bottom. Mm. And I want to zip them so that they're pinched like that. So now, can you put it... There you go, Daddy. No, no, no. That's not doing anything. That's not doing anything. Do you zip that in your pocket? I'm shoving a zip tie in your pocket. Well, you should, yeah. Okay, tighten it. Well, can I do it? On the other end, I can do it. Okay, so we got it hung. Now we just got to tighten it up a bit. I might have to, I'm not sure if these are going to be too flimsy up top. So really simple solution if needed. Uh, you just grab a two by four cutoff. We would need one about four feet long. You drill a hole the size of the rebar, wherever it is, and you slip it on top like a handrail. And that'll sturdy it up left to right as well. So we're going to see if we need that. If we don't need it, you won't be, see, you won't be seeing me do it. If we do need it, I'll show you how to do that. Hello, uh, hello. You see the bubble, the bubble, the bubble. You see it. You see the rainbow. You don't see the rainbow. There it is. Here. Yeah, you. I don't see it. Here's a little smoky. <laughs> smoky. Okay, I think. We created a pretty decent initial trellis here. Like, we'll see how it goes when they start when they start hanging off of it, start growing tomatoes. Very quick, efficient way. I had this rebar sitting around. Even if you were to go buy rebar, seven dollars for like a twenty foot piece gives you five, four, no, five posts and uh, the roll of mesh was 25 bucks so all in you're at 35 bucks and you can make i don't know probably 20 feet 30 feet of trellis i mean that roll the roll alone that i have <clears throat> is more than enough trellis material i'm going to need for my tomatoes my peas my pretty much whatever um yeah what's up buddy my little boy's got a little passion for golf but i don't have golf clubs for him yet so he's literally Trying to use mine, so he's got the sand wedge going because it's the only sh it's a short enough club that it's the only club short enough that he can actually use. So, anyway, let's get these other two uh, arm trellises, like these little arm things, set up, and then I think we're actually going to do the P trellis today too uh, on this episode, so that we can get that all wrapped up, get all the trellises done, and get that the peas planted. We don't have them, we don't even have them planted yet, so. So what I've decided to do here to save a little bit of rebar yet, instead of uh, pounding in a peg on the other side to support it, I'm just going to tie it into the existing rebar we have. I could have just done one long piece of mesh for it, but I wasn't thinking before. So we're going to actually re reuse the outer two pegs on the first set we set up. Head. Give you on my head. Huh? We? Yeah. Hello. All right. Here's a kitty. You can see him. There he is. Second side done. It's beginning to look like a bit of a rabbit cage. Let's get the third side done and the tomatoes will be ready. Right now. Am I though? There you go. Now when the we're ready to harvest, you just step into the middle here where the compost bin is. You can reach everything from this side and then you can go around to this side Grab whatever you want here. So that's done. That was quick. That took all of, I don't know, half an hour, including getting the rods ready for rebar. Super quick, simple, cheap way to do it.
Got an army of cats, apparently. There's Brig, Whiskers, Smokey. Whiskers is the mother to the kittens that you see sometimes on the channel. I'll throw a shot of them in. Actually, I think Abby was uh, wearing one as a hat before on camera, so I'll make sure to leave that edit in there. Uh, Smokey's currently very pregnant. Brig's the father of both of them, both uh, litters. So it looks like we're gonna have to bring him to the vet soon. We got friends right now that want kittens, so it helps. We can give them kittens, but uh, can't be doing this every year. That's a little higher off the ground than I wanted. I'm looking for about six inches. The peas will stay rigid and sturdy enough to carry themselves to the trellis up to that height. But after that, if the wind knocks them over, they may never find the trellis. So I'm going to hammer this first peg in down. And then as we go along, we'll kind of hammer them down to level everything out. And just like that, we got our pea trellis. So I'm gonna go grab the pea seeds and we're gonna go ahead and plant that up. Got the peas, let's get planting. I think for this, I'm gonna try just burning a little hole in the torch and see if we can get just like an individual stalk sort of thing. I'm trying to preserve the tarp for as long as possible. Oh, you guys can't even see what's going on. Apologies. Hopefully that's visible. Here, I'll try and uh, bring you in closer. And just like that, you got a nice roll of holes. And we're gonna fill those up with uh, pea plants they might be a little close together but then next year we just whoop, next year we just wouldn't uh plant every hole well shoot that one kept burning a bit but is what it is these are pretty easy i'll just dump some out so you can see what we're looking at looks like basically unboiled peas just waiting for the holes to cool down a little bit and then we're going to stick one pea seed per hole and plants are pretty good at finding the light so hopefully even if the tarp shifts a bit they're able to just grow up through the hole let's see how this works bit of an experiment ah. <laughs> did you sneak up on me <laughs> are we about to plant some peas do you want to help mm. no that's a no uh, i could do some could do some eh how many mm. maybe i I'll just do as much as I pick up. One in each hole, right? Yep, one per hole. And then you got to squeeze them in with your finger a little bit. Let's get started. I'll set the camera up. That bush Sorry. over there, that's a wild raspberry bush. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Do you want to show them? Wild raspberry bush right over right here. here. Yep. It's Ooh, actually not wild. Flower. It's just grow out of control from our patch that used to be through yeah, here. But I'll put them in the uh, uh, Yeah, so we're gonna finish doing this yeah. with Abby. And then uh, we'll give you an update to see how things are going in a little bit here. Peas usually generate pretty fast. I don't think we'll have any growth before the video release on Saturday, but uh, next video for sure you should see an update on these guys. I think I'm gonna do a quick update on some of the other plants in the meantime. And then we'll catch up with these guys in the next video. Peas are planted right there. And I'll give you a brief update on what's going on with some of our other plants here. And then I think that'll wrap up this video. So, got all my zip tie cutoffs here. First stop we have here, uh, all of our potatoes are coming up from the last episode. So that was about a week ago. We got beautiful plants coming up. These are from basically old store-bought potatoes that were starting to rot away. Uh, sunflower seeds are there aren't doing too hot. 
Got our peanut plants here that are doing quite well. And then if we step over here, our pumpkin is a little overzealous, growing some massive flowers. We've got other tomatoes here. Don't have cages for them yet. And then our cucumbers, peppers, raspberry, one lone raspberry, strawberries, blueberries. And here we got beets, radishes, and carrots. The carrots you can't really see coming up yet, but uh, they are starting to come. You can see the roll kind of right there. So they're coming up. I uh, haven't weeded yet, just for the simple fact that I don't know. Well, I'm worried that the weed roots will rip up the seeded roots. So as soon as that, uh, as soon as the planted tubers are tall enough, we'll begin weeding this and get it cleaned up. So, yeah. so with that, I think we're going to call it a video. Uh, once again, thank you everyone for coming by. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it all. Kids love it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good week.